Hello, welcome to this video. Here I want to show how I made this from the start to the end. Firstly, I would like to share the tools I use for this drawing. I used graphite pencil for shading and sketching. I used kneaded eraser, pencil eraser and electric eraser for highlight part. I used charcoal pencil for dark area. Also I have bending stamp, contour band and a makeup brush for shading. I get this picture from the Pinterest app. I search I and it give me more option to choose. So I choose this one because I like it. I use grid marker for drawing up for making grid line. Number of rows were 25 and the columns were 17. The paper I used is hard and it is called Manila in our country. So I'm going to show step by step how I made this drawing. Welcome. I used B graphite pencil for sketching. So this is a B pencil. And when I'm sketching, first I start with the most easiest part. As you can see here, I started with the upper part line. This was the easiest for me to start with. You can start anywhere, just choose the easiest part for you to start with. Then join the line using grid line, it is very easy, just follow this line. Because it helps you to align well your diagram. And if you make mistake from your sketching, use your eraser to clean it. The next important skills you can learn from sketching Apply your pencil gently so that if you make mistake you can clean it without leaving a mark so this is so important because we are not perfect So while drawing, there are some kind of mistake you will make. Don't be afraid to make mistake. Just use your eraser when you make mistake to clean it. Another important issue is that after finish putting all detail from every grid box, that is where now you can erase your grid line. Because you have already put every detail from your reference kit up. Most artists will not show you how they sketch their diagram. Because that is where everything begins. After that, you can use your makeup brush for shading. You can use the charcoal pencil for more dark area. As you can see, I use the charcoal pencil for more dark areas. Also, the next important skill is when using charcoal pencil anywhere in your drawing, remember to blend it with either cotton bag, bedding stamp, or makeup brush. Because it will help you to spread that charcoal and make it look more smoother. As you can see here, I do the same. Once I place the charcoal, I fold by blending stamp to blend that area. This helps your diagram to look more smooth and realistic. Uh, I use the electric eraser for highlight area, as you can see here. In order to distinguish the importance of charcoal pencil over 8B pencil, 
because 8B pencil also can be used on dark area. But chalk pencil is based over because when it used it, it is not shiny. So it gives the true dark color when used for dark part compared to uh, 8B. And uh, if you look to my diagram, you can see three parts. More dark part, we have a gray part, and we have a highlight area. So for the dark part, I use a chalk pencil, and for gray part, I use a graphite pencil, and for highlight, I use a uh, laser. So, as you can see, I'm not rushing, I'm not in a hard finish it. That is a chakra powder I'm using there. And this chakra powder, how I get it, I'm just to take a chakra pencil, I lab it into a paper, and I take the powder. And everywhere, I use the chakra powder all over my garden. Because in a black and a white up, Everything should be black or should be white. So the base area, the base layer, is always black, but not too dark. But it is always there in a black part. Another important thing I'd say in this video is that we. After applying charcoal pencil, make sure you fold by blending it so that you make your charcoal stick together and you don't contaminate your paper. Your paper will be more smoothly. So if you are, if you can see very clearly after using charcoal pencil like this one, then what I do, I fold by uh, applying it it with a blending stamp as you can see whenever I use a charcoal pencil after applying it I put by blending it use this skill for every after making a pencil then for example you can look here I use the charcoal for more dark part and then I blend it as you can see I bend it. This helped me to make my diagram look more smoothly, spread that charcoal easily, and it helped me not to contaminate it. You can see, apply the charcoal, then I use the burning stamp to spread it. And also, if I make a mistake somewhere, I use a rectangle light. So, another important skill is that when you apply, Charcoal. Before using a charcoal pencil, I want to tell you this before. Before using the charcoal pencil, start with the graphite pencil. If you want to make any detail by using charcoal pencil, start with the start with the gray pen. I mean, graphite pencil before applying charcoal pencil. Because charcoal pencil, it is very hard to lie with. Very hard. If you mess up. With the charcoal pencil, it is very hard to lay it. So, make little using graphite pencil, and then later you can be can trace it by using a charcoal pencil. And uh, by doing so, I've been using this technique for many years now, and it helped me a lot. It helped me on reducing mistakes when so for to highlight I use a electrical as you can see here. I use a electrical laser for white part. Sometimes I use a pencil laser, sometimes I use middle laser. 
for blurred vision if we uh, have a blurred vision we know we have uh, different types of highlights we have blurred vision complete white part but sometimes for blurred vision you can use middle glazer or you can use blending stamp it helps a lot and if you make mistake by using charcoal pencil using electric laser is the best to remove charcoal mistake so planning it by needed laser for just to, uh, to make sure your picture for any area where is the blood you can use the it so that's how I do. So, so just remember, guys, just remember uh, when using charcoal pencil, then when you use your graphite pencil, blending. And uh, everything you can do here, I'm not using it from anywhere. I just do a cut and paste from the my reference picture. I didn't add anything. Everything here is there from my reference picture. And my reference picture, if you started it correctly. It is, this is an eye I'm looking for a cat who is looking from the window and uh, outside the window there is a couch so what I'm trying here I'm trying to make that window I draw that cat and also I draw the couch outside the window so as I said before start with graphite pencil for example here I draw eyelashes so I start with the graphite pencil I draw them quite perfectly I just using them I do them I start with the graphite pencil then later I will use charcoal pencil this is just because uh, you know if you make mistake with the graphite pencil you can erase it without leaving a mark. But if you, you start to direct with the charcoal, make sure that you are so perfect and accurate. Because uh, for me, I just found this is the simplest for me and it gives the ability now that to reach. So I start with the graphite, then later I just apply charcoal glaze it that's what i start with the b then now this is 8b then i increase the darkness by using 8b this is 8b then after, after applying the 8b then i'll be following the blending stamp as i said after applying any pencil just blend it with a blending stamp if you make a mistake you see then now I will apply the charcoal that is a charcoal charcoal pencil as you can see you see this is a test wow so always remember this after don't last I'm going to use the charcoal pencil start with the graphite then later followed by charcoal after applying whatever pencil, either it is the graphite or it is charcoal, remember to blend it. Don't leave it alone. Blend it. Blend, blend your picture. Right. So that is important of blending stamp. So that is it. You should have it. If you don't have blending stamp, you can use a makeup plush, you can use a cotton bag. That is also good for that. So don't forget to subscribe and like.
in the comment on the comment section below where you didn't understand and I will answer you ask any question ask any where you did he understand and I will try my best to answer you accordingly so continue enjoying the video up to the last part